Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Tia Lee, and then I'm so glad and happy to have you all here. And then it really hard to believe to make this uh, workshop happen. And then um, I really hope that you enjoy it all today. And then I really hope that yeah, because I'm proud of all my participants. They are so great and then dominant in their own area. So I really believe that you will really learn a lot and enjoy this workshop. Um,
시스템이라고 쓰십니다. 문화기술대학원은 문화산업 생태계를 주관으로 다섯 가지 핵심 전략을 구축하였습니다. 엔터테인먼트 분야의 기술 창조와 첨단 영상 및 콘텐츠 제작, 소셜 네트워크의 정보 확산. Yeah, I think this is pretty much the, the introductory for our uh, department, our graduate school. The, the good thing is our graduate school is fully uh, supported by government. So, uh, and then the second one is most of the course is taught in English. I can say all. So, yeah, especially for the graduate. And then, yeah, and then we also encourage our lab of interdisciplinary. So, um, so, yeah, since you are here, I think it's better you understand about the graduate school. Um, I'm associate professor here now. I just got tenured. <laughs> and then, um, but I was in Taiwan before I came. Uh, for five years as an assistant professor, and then I graduated from uh, CMU, uh, uh, from the School of Architecture. with some practice and then theory in design. So since my appointment, but since I uh, came here at uh, GSCT, and then I start to really combine some scientific and then rule-based methodology to cultural aspect because the name here is a culture, culture technology. So uh, this efforts let me uh, explore some computational design field uh, the, from the perspective of MIM, have you ever heard about meme before? Like a meme, like uh, analogies, social cultural analogy to genes, right? Actually, this term is coined uh, from the uh, Dickens, uh, Dawkins, right? <laughs> Dawkins, and then he mentioned this one, but I don't believe that this term is still not very really spread very uh, successfully. So anyway, I'm interested in this term meme, and then while trying to comprehend the concept of the meme. And then from the cultural aspect of design and the notion of the genetic algorithm too, the so term cultural DNA actually naturally become my, one of my keywords. And then I thought, I create this term, and then I search to Google, no way. <laughs> so I, I start to find, because I searched this all around 2007, and then already there are some books that say about some, like, yeah, the uh, selfish meme, and then now, 2015, there's a one book named Cultural DNA also. But of course, their perspective is quite different from mine. So, but anyway, so, but I'm very positive people, person, so I say, okay, that's good. I can have reference, right? Instead of say, I can create these terms, right? But anyway, this term really, uh, really uh, grab my really concept, and then I really like this idea. So actually, and then there's some uh, motivational event. I uh, organized one workshop named Vexit, uh, Visual Exploration of Cultural Style in Design in 2009 here. And then also, we continue, I also have another workshop, uh, Cultural DNA for Islamic Art and Architecture workshop in 2012. So I organized two workshops. And then, so from this workshop actually, and then I start to feel that I really want to go deep into this area. I don't need to say about <laughs> what to say about 101, but because a lot of people, they, they already know it here. But if I just say briefly, shape grammar, because both these two workshops was based on the shape grammar concept. And then shape grammar is kind of rule-based system, but both sides, left-hand side and the right-hand side, is a visual representation. So, but of course, this one allows you to do the transformation, which means the translation, reflection, rotation, scaling is allowed, right? So, um, yes, yeah, so I <laughs> briefly introduced about the shape grammar. So, actually, this one was uh, created by Professor Jody Steiny uh, from MIT, and then the Terry Knight, right? And then, so they start to, apply the shape grammar concept from like uh, 70s, the 80s, and then, yeah, also they try to search for some like a co 
Koenig and then Alicia Burke and then say uh, Frank Lloyd Wright house and then Earl like a Google Garden and then Willie Fleming which is my advisor <laughs> also tried to get some Queen Anne house uh, deviations and then uh, Actually, I was about to invite him to Jose from Jose, and then he he's smart enough to get this idea t t for the real, I mean, the still alive person. So he can even ask the the architect because most of the style the creator is dead or it's not available now. But you can still ask to the Albert Stija, which is one of the famous architect now. So he applied this one to the city level. And the even house level or, or even interior level. And then here, Professor Chu is here, and then also uh, he applied shaker map for some cultural aspect. So he put this one into the cultural way. So later maybe you will hear directly from him, right, Professor Chu. And then so, uh, yeah, so culture, using Ruban, and then some like a Taiwanese traditional architecture to do that. And then also I bring uh, Andrew Lee here, <laughs> and then also he is also using Inja Pasu, which means that the uh, way of constructing Chinese architecture to apply the rules to here. So um, so these are also the interesting topics. And then not only architecture domain, so some like mechanical engineering domain people, they really got this idea, and they especially in CMU, John Kagan, and then he got this idea to, to develop the car design. So basically also the interesting thing is he uh, used this idea to recognize the brand identity for car. So in, two, uh, in 2002, he expect, uh, maybe he uh, do some expectation for the 2004 Buick. So is it, is it look similar? <laughs> he used shape grammar to apply to expect uh, the next generation of cars. So all these things I saw and I realized that well, uh, one of my ideas is how I can do some style demystified. So because you know Chanel or a lot of styles, right? We don't know, especially most of the the clothes is by the patterns 2D. So can I really use this one? But yeah, I, unfortunately, I didn't, can, I can really get the funding. And then actually, we have a very um, nice <coughs> company. Actually, from, he, is, he is one of the students from our faculty member, Professor Wang. And then he established one um, company, Glow. And then this company can show you all virtual patients like this. So I want to combine with uh, him and then try to develop some thing, but unfortunately, I cannot really get funding, <laughs> but I try. Okay, so this is my first idea. Second idea is I really try to develop some, I analyze a pattern and then try to get some like a cultural DNA, as I say. So is there such a thing, cultural DNA? And then from, I mentioned before, right, I uh, make a um, yeah, backseat project in 2009 and I try to, uh, analyze the Spanish pattern and the Korean pattern. So pattern, yeah, I don't need to say long, but pattern is very important because this is kind of record of human behavior in the form of design artifacts. So, so all the history, we all the time just search the pattern and then try to analyze and then try to say, oh, so these people is from where, then you can, actually the pattern is one of the historical uh, evidence, right? So you can. Uh, it's very worth to search. So at that time, we compare, uh, first, we try to compare these two, but we fail. It's, it's impossible. So what we do is we search, we analyze the Spanish pattern, and then we analyze the Korean pattern separately. So in the Spanish pattern point of view, so we do the Spanish, we collect several Spanish pattern. Actually, the organizer of the geometry, everything Spanish pattern, not all, but part of it, they are geometry patterns, which means that you use like a geometry or motif or tiling approach to make it so far. But I believe that because this is an enumerative way to search, and then, you know, there's a lot of books say that, okay, this is so big, you know, uh, tremendous of the people, they really search for the patterns, pattern analysis, and then they, 
write the book, at the, at the very end of the book, they always say, oh, God is really uh, the, the, the omnipotent, and then we, can, uh, we are just merely human beings, so we cannot really explore everything, and then I will die. And then there's another person comes, and they say the same thing on the book, and it goes, right? So, um, but I believe that maybe because of one of the reasons is we try to make some, uh, some innovative way to build the pattern. So, uh, yeah, as I told you, there's two big ways. One is a geometric, which means that you use compass and then the, uh, the unchecked, uh, the just this thing, ruler, right? Using this way to make, this is one method, and then tied one, right? You just try to make a... Uh, tie together to make it, but we try to use, uh, and then there's one theory is about to build the pattern, right, only 17 ways, so we combine all together, and then we se uh, select some ties, arbitrary actually, is, there's no rule to select, but we just select this one, and then try to build some um, construction using shape grammar, and then, so, yeah, like this, right, and then, for short, <laughs> because I only have 10 minutes. So, yeah, there's ABCD. We try to figure out some small evidence and then using these rules to apply. It. And then, fortunately, we can um, build these eight patterns. So, it's successfully only this ABCD, and then we can build all. But, unfortunately, the workshop was so short. Yeah, we cannot really figure out a lot. So, yeah, I just say, uh, okay, so it's but anyway, yeah, we figure some. Maybe if we figure out, we, using some small patterns to generate or maybe Islamic pattern or uh, generative pattern, then I think it can be a big uh, finding. So yeah, I will go, yeah, because, but, and then one other problem is we try to build a new pattern but the problem is, it doesn't look like Islamic pattern, even we get the rule out of the existing Islamic pattern. So we feel that, ah, maybe we are not just cat monkey. <laughs> so we just feel that maybe we have to also explore some cultural issue. So maybe we say, is it the thing that we, we have to put some uh, shapes inside? For example, in this way, in this way, maybe you can think that stars, maybe. So we just try to apply, like, a, is there anything we need, like a rule star? So we just try, and then try to apply this rule to make it. Looks much better, and looks much more like the Islamic pattern. But anyway, so, and then the Korean side is totally different approach, because we try to get Busang Wamun, which means that, like, looks like different. So this pattern is from actually the western area to come. So actually we compare these two because the Spanish pattern from here to go to the, the west, and then this pattern also comes to the east side. So it's very interesting. They have the same uh, mother. And then we, since the, but uh, for the Spanish pattern, we try to figure out some geometric one, but for the Korean pattern, it was a flower pattern. So it's different. This is not really geometric pattern. But interesting thing is, the whole pattern, we try to gather this pattern from all Korean history, but from like uh, some uh, late 1800 to the beginning of the, the 14th century. And then uh, they all have the same uh, framework like this. Because it's a flower pattern, you can really arrange flowering framework. And then, yeah. And then all these four different examples, you can really put in the same, like uh, we can say this is a, uh, uh, the, the global geometry. So, so this everything is fit into the geom global geometry. So this is interesting too. Um, so yeah, we try to draw in CAD and then also make the long story short. <laughs> and then we try to generate. And then, so since we we uh, share the global geometry, so if you plug into into different uh, com component from, for example, like a component, you can combine component A and C to gen new generate the new uh, ideas. So anyway, yeah. So yeah, from this one, I got some interesting point. Is there any like a de degree of invariance? Yeah, I still didn't get very. 
full, uh, full river. This is one thing. Another thing, for the geometric thing, when this time goes by, this one becomes complicated. But for the flower pattern, like a Korean pattern, as time goes by, it becomes simpler. And then this is also very interesting. Another one, but very uh, hectic, and then we cannot really still solve out because it looks really, very similar, but how to see is according to very subjective vision, right? So for example, like, if this is the same, but you can see the star or cross or rojecta, right? So this kind of subjective is, do you see the, the rabbit or dog? This is a like, difficult situation, right? <laughs> So um, after the success of this workshop, I expand this idea to another domain. So actually with the Professor Chu in Taiwan and then his student here now, and then we try to figure out because now, uh, beginning of the 20th century, Japan, Korea, and Taiwan share the same history, like a Japanese clo uh, colonial time. So we, we try to say it, it, it can be the interesting if we uh, search these uh, three countries, a city. So also I'm interested in to search some city thing. I don't have much time to show this video. And then also with my uh, uh, PhD student, and then I'm doing search for the also car styling. And then I analyze the car shape and then optimize the style. And then combine this one with the marketing and then the, the business administrator strategies, right? So we do the shape decomposition. Maybe you will see today, his, uh, he will do the presentation today. So you will see details. So I will just pretty much just go. But maybe you want to see this one because we want to. Uh, so interesting thing is we can calculate like uh, how much percentage you can get. For example, like from here, like uh, for example, this example is BMW. And then you can get some uh, like 70% of the BMW. Well, 50% of the BMW can be, oh, this is nice. The sound, you don't have to. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. Oh, this is good. Okay, the quality is not okay. <laughs> because uh, here, actually, the, the percentage is up, and this is a BMW car, and then we put a lot of uh, alternatives to generate the same percentage of the car. <coughs> it's very interesting. But, okay. And then with all of our students, I'm also doing the biomimicry, uh, bio-inspired design, but yeah, I will skip this one too because of the time. So later, uh, yeah. so, Cultural DNA, if I do some uh, research related to cultural DNA, then I got some questions. So I, I, my question is, is there such a thing as a cultural DNA common throughout various domains? Then also, how can the computer-assisted tool and methodologies play a role in the probing to the cultural DNA? What kind of mechanism and what kind of procedure should they follow the cultural DNA to be established as a new research field? So that's why, to solve this question, I bring a lot of experts here and then want to get some um, ideas, right? So this is the workshop this today. And then, so I really especially thanks to uh, like this time programming committee, food and then Didi Aram here. <laughs> they help me a lot. Without them, I cannot really organize this one. And then especially funding support too. <laughs> Everything is money issue, right? So they support your air ticket and then the, the uh, hotel. So and then all participants. I'm so proud of all my participants here from UK, Paris, Switzerland, Singapore, Taiwan, Japan, Australia. Oh, but by the way, Ningu is not right yet. Oh, okay, Australia, <laughs> Canada, <laughs> USA, as well as Korea, right? So thanks a lot. And then yeah. so ah, several remarks. So this, uh, this today we will have a full paper presentation. Tomorrow we will have a shape grammar workshop. So if you are interested, or if you, but actually this workshop is for the, the students mainly. But if you are interested, you can join, or you can bring. If you bring some students from uh, your country, yeah, we are welcome to join, right? So this is directed by Professor Andrew there. So yeah.
Okay. And then, as I announced before, the Springer uh, have a very, very positive <laughs> answer to me. So I will publish this one to the Springer. But again, uh, I think each author, you need some amount of time to revise your paper. So I will let you know when time comes and then let you have time to revise your papers. And then, but they say uh, it needs six months or one year. So maybe around this time of the next year, I think we will get Springer and then please buy. <laughs> because they sometimes they also consider a money issue. It can be the money, they can get the money out of this book. But okay, so but I really hope that my uh, the proposal, my proposal is working and then we can publish it by the Springer because this is one of the nice uh, uh, publications so I think it will be nice chance. Okay, thank you very much.